I've always been wondering, should I go for a CCIE first or should I go for CCDE or maybe should I combine between both and does it really hold this value, the CCDE mainly, the Cisco Certified Design Expert? Well, guess what? In this special episode from Key Points, I ran into one of the top CCIEs and CCDEs around the world. And he's going to answer all these questions, which actually happened during Cisco Live Amsterdam 2024. Guess who? Well, I met Orhan Ergen. Let's go and find out the answers to those different questions, which are very, very crucial. So I'm here today with one of the legendary CCIE and CCDE myths and trainers in the world. With me here is Orhan. Orhan is actually the CCDE trainer. I, I don't have to introduce him. Well, guys, here is Orhan Ergen. Uh, Orhan, how are you? Welcome to Cisco Live, Mr. Dev. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So all is good right now. Last year we were here, so this year also we are enjoying a lot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with us. And I want to ask you a bunch of questions related to CCDE specifically, since you are the CCDE master. Okay, so does the CCDE still has its value in the market? Should people keep pursuing it? Yeah, definitely, because uh, especially when it comes to Cisco, Cisco is updating their, not just CCD, let's be honest, CCIs as well, right now, very frequently as well, and that's why keeping the uh, value, uh, we can see that from the also registrations to the uh, trainings and getting also video on demand courses, etc. Yeah, I think uh, CCD specifically, I can say that definitely. Yeah. Okay, so if, if so, and if I, if I'm, per, you know, someone who's trying to pursue a CCDE, I have this question, and personally, I had that question myself. Uh, is a CCDE better or a CCIE better? Which one should go first? Uh, th this question is always happening. You know, I, I, I mean, you know that you get this question often. Definitely, because people are asking this one as well. So, shall we go to the maybe first CCIE uh, or even second CCIE or CCDE? What should we do? So, answer, of course, uh, like uh, another uh, any other designer will tell you, it is depends because uh, if you are looking for the operational type of certification. Uh, and definitely CCIE because you need to know more hands-on. Not only that one, to be honest, if probably today looking for a job change and uh, CCIE, I would say, because most people, hiring managers, they know CCIE much more than CCD. I mean, CCD probably among those people may not be known, but if you are CCIE, especially Rod Switch or right. Enterprise Now, we yeah. say, or CCIE service provider, then uh, more chance that you know CCD. So if you are hiring manager, then you might be giving so much value to CCD. So it depends on who basically is deciding here. But again, operational uh, positions, CCIE is the requirement. But when there is any time design and architecture, definitely CCD is much, much important. Uh, but there is no better. So it's just based on uh, what we are looking for. Okay. So and as I told you, just if I summarize, also if you are looking for new job uh, or new Maybe even uh, change your complete career. Like let's say you are coming from the uh, route switch, but okay. you want to change to data center. Which is most of the people are actually coming from the routing and switching background. Yes, most people today also when it comes to CCIE, it is route, route switch CCIE. We have much more. Uh, but when you want to change, it might be a little bit hard, but what people are doing from route switch to some other maybe collaboration, maybe wireless maybe, but uh, for the CCDE, I think you need to not just know uh, any other domain, but all of those domains, to be honest. So probably we will talk about this one as well. CCD is combination of multiple practice. Yeah. Which got me actually into thinking uh, about one more question. Thank you for bringing this up as we're talking. Uh, well, that was if I wanted to choose between a CCD or a CCIE, but like, how about if I want to combine, and I, I think you already gave the answer, but like, let's stress on that answer again. If I want to combine CCDE with a CCIE, so what is the best combination that of your opinion? I see your point. Actually, uh, not even opinion. This is today uh, very well said. We can say CCA route switch. I mean, again, enterprise today. The enterprise, yeah. yeah. Uh, big percent of the exam is enterprise related right now. Yes. Infrastructure point of view, of course, we are talking like traditional technologies such as OSPF, again, uh, EIGRP, ISAS, DMVPN, GetVPN, those kind of things. But also modern technologies like SD-WAN, SDA, of course, yeah. SD-Access is there and so on and so forth. And 
and uh, uh, that's why we can say right now if you are CCI Enterprise and then uh, CCI ESP as well combination of those boats then you have a good chance that you should start any more CCD preparation yet. Gotcha, gotcha. So the, this like trio I could say CCI Enterprise then CCIE service provider yes will help you towards the CCDE. Yes. We only help for the uh, preparation because to be honest there are uh, a lot of data center and cloud stuff as well from the design aspect. Oh, we'll give you a big percentage. Yes, yes, definitely. Like maybe 75-80% of the exam will be related with enterprise and the service provider technologies and even maybe a little bit more than that. But doesn't mean that if you are really CCDA, it's like uh, you know uh, a lot of concept from the high level point of view. Because anyway, design and architecture is the high level things, not the lower level, bit by level detail we say, right? But when it comes to operational stuff like uh, CCA virus, let's say, you need to know really a lot detail for that particular uh, technology protocol, etc. When it comes to CCDA, you need to know the correlation of those uh, different practices, right? So that's why uh, CCDE is the combination of almost everything, but mostly enterprise and SPCCA. Or in, uh, well, you you've been, uh, how long have you been a CCD yourself? 10 years now. Oh, 10 years. <laughs> That's quite some time. So here's the question. When would a candidate for a CCD expect a return of investment? Because personally speaking, I think that this is an investment that you put into yourself. Is it going to be immediate right after passing the CCD exam or any exam? Or will we have to be patient a little bit until we see that this certificate is giving us some return? To be honest, but in my real life, what I saw from me, of course, it changed entire my life. So uh, because I went to that business, CCDA training, then after that CCA training, but then uh, lots of other Cisco right now on our website. So there are like more than 50, 60 CC, Cisco training. So that's why, uh, and uh, so many thousands, tens of thousands of students right. we had. Right. And uh, of course it opens also like other uh, opportunities such as we are giving lots of consultancy to the service provider and enterprises. So these wouldn't be definitely happening if I wouldn't get that moment deciding and by the way I want to send uh, special thanks to Russ White so uh, because He's one of the legendary uh, authors and, of course uh, one of my and uh, mentors as well definitely I discussed with him shall we go to another CCA because I had already CCAs and uh, another CCA those days I was considering CCA data centers right. and or should it be CCD and the uh, answer was almost like uh, multiple CCA even doesn't make one that's what, what i think actually yeah. personally yes. exactly exactly because uh, we need to configure things we need to know much more detail in the cc as i told you before but ccd understanding all those uh, things from high level and then their correlation so uh, sometimes surface or synchronization we call them so we need to understand those things and we need to always think from design aspect and uh, trying to get the answer of why why this why not this why and this technology yeah, exactly. why not the other technology? and then multiple technology when they come together and uh, uh, what would be the uh, order of operation if you are doing migration or what would be the effect when multiple things come together so these are really not told well when it comes not actually we are not even asking when it comes to anything other than ccd let's be honest okay gotcha. so yeah gotcha. for me uh, that change was so quick and what i saw also in my in real life from my ccd friends and uh, students etc usually very fast some uh, changing either they are changing the country country as well so different country maybe I don't know they are maybe in India or somewhere uh, any country that they want to go to it's easier with gotcha. the CCD I saw and also even if they, in the same company they are getting to more architectural positions etc which is normal uh, if you get this one because you are becoming unique I think even less right now we are we have uh, less than around 700 people in the world after almost 20 years CCD is a little bit unique it is yeah so it's unique so well Th that, that leads me to the final question over here, which is, what's after CCD? What's the next? Uh, <laughs> what's after CCD? So this, this is the top of the mountain. I mean, this answer could be could go to any direction, to be honest, because uh, CCD. Little bit, I am thinking differently. Maybe after not ten years, twenty years, but even in the very 
beginning days of your career, you should start some design questions. Design, yeah. Maybe CCD certification might be hard, but you should start learning design because in design, what we do, we ask why, why OSPF instead of how yeah, to configure yeah. OSPF. Yeah. So the how can be probably learned from Google as well, but uh, you know, ask those why and then follow those people who can answer why or why not. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the, of course, everywhere, social media, etc. Maybe you can attend their courses and so on and so forth. But immediately, uh, first thing that you should learn after your uh, university graduation, I think asking why, understand why even we are using, let's say, multicast in our network, not immediately going and deploying PIM or beer or, you know, those kind of protocols. So ask for it first why uh, PIM or why MLDP and those kind of things. And then after you understand, really you can learn to configure only a own any vendor equipment in my opinion so that's why uh, after after that, after, that. after after CCD what happens next you, you think that you're on the top of the mountain no. so oh. what's next maybe another CCIE or re revise something if you are a certification person yes definitely there will be other uh, CCIEs uh, these days for example for me I think network automation is big thing okay. well, right thing. really it is and uh, many many uh, real life cu customers also uh, we deploy and uh, using of course automation solutions so DevNet, right now, uh, in, a, in under my radar as well, personally, we have, of course, courses on our website for the DevNet experts coming as well, but I want to also get that one for my also personal challenge, okay. as well as I like to talk about it. So design combination with something is... is with something like, unique, with something yes. trending. Definitely, because automation right now uh, is not even trending in real life happening. It is real SD-WAN. Almost everyone is using SD-WAN, and it is also network automation, right? So that's why we are already using everywhere. So maybe we can start looking at some open standards and those things as well. Obviously, there are many uh, resources anymore. So uh, you should find some challenge and whatever you like. But it, for me, it is maybe uh, right now DevNet and network automation. But if you like data center, why not? Sure. Definitely. So security. Uh, definitely, I have here a friend, for example, uh, he was just uh, his CCD and uh, uh, also collaboration, but okay. now looking for the uh, security as well. Because, Another challenge. Yeah, of course, because uh, we are in IT, the beauty is we are not a football player. So like uh, 30s, 40s, we don't have to stop. Like after even 70s, you can put some challenge and we can continue. I love really being in IT and networking and being, of course, CCD and CCIEs. So uh, I think we have long, long ways. Well, Oren, actually, this conversation with you is very, very beneficial and interesting and very beneficial also for all the CCIEs and CCDEs around the world. Thanks for being here with us today, and it's a pleasure for being here. By the way, hey, don't forget, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you, everybody. Thank us.